Sheridan, Wyoming. It's a great place for art. I think it's important to, uh, to support the arts in Sheridan County. Um, it's a wonderful opportunity for the, for the community and all our artists do a great job and I think it's, it's great to be able to acknowledge all of our artists. Public art is really, really important and uh, it's difficult for public art to be placed, you know, because there's lots of, lots of things on the agenda, lots of other projects going on. So, you know, anytime we can get some public art in front of the, in front of the people, it's worth, it's worth working with. I've talked to a lot of artists tonight who are very grateful to be able to be here and they're very impressed with our community and how much we have going on for artists. What is art and music but the best of life? In 1999, the City of Sheridan appointed a committee to draw up a resolution for City Council that would give guidelines for public art. We had a competition initially for um, a signature piece and that went on down on Main Street and Grinnell Plaza in 2002. It's called Bozeman Scout by Barry Eisenach. We gradually began to acquire permanent pieces and we thought, let's bring more art in with, by asking artists to lend us sculptures. And the program has grown to the point where we had 27 last year, and this year we have 22. We've just fallen in love with Sheridan. Uh, it's so supportive of the arts and downtown is beautiful and vibrant and the, the art adds so much to it. These are always so much fun. It, it's nice to do public art and uh, get to travel, meet the communities. Um, I do several others, Grand Junction, uh, Colorado, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and uh, they're always a lot of fun. What's nice is that I think especially these smaller towns have such a tremendous amount of energy to them and the public support is so powerful that it's really encouraging from an artist standpoint. Sheridan has been celebrating the arts since 2001. The annual celebration offers a weekend of events for artists of all kinds. It begins on Thursday with an introduction to the new pieces of public art and the sculptors who crafted them, followed by dinner and a quick draw fundraising event where all proceeds go to fund Celebrate the Arts scholarships. On Friday and Saturday, amidst the newly placed sculptures in Sheridan's downtown, local businesses host live artists to share their craft with the public. I was approached by uh, Chad Franklin here at the PO uh, News and uh, he wanted me to display some stuff in his store and he said, you know, let's do it in conjunction with Celebrate the Arts. That way you get some exposure, City of Sheridan will reap some benefits as well. And, and he said, look, I get some art on the walls of my uh, store as well. This is a great event for downtown Sheridan and so I think any store downtown would benefit from participating in it because it just highlights our downtown as a whole. It certainly highlights the wealth of talent that we have here in Sheridan. Artists, not just painters, but pianists, other musicians, sculptors. There's, there's just such a wealth of artistic talent in this community. And I think this is a great opportunity for us business owners to help highlight that. There's a couple things. Obviously, it's, it's good for me to do that as far as publicity and kind of name recognition and things like that. But it's also important for, for, for kids to get out and see people playing music and, and realize that hey, just because you're from Wyoming doesn't mean that, that you can't be a successful musician and make it pay the bills, which there's very few of us out there, so it's, it's good for them to see that. And that's, so that's why we do this kind of stuff too. It helps, and it gives me a chance to meet people and um, just talk to them and talk about my work. Uh, talking to people and uh, having them stop by and comment is very reward. And I also believe strongly in promoting the arts in the community and uh, so anytime I get a chance to do that I, I enjoy that. Celebrate the Arts is one of the ways that we make the community aware of how many artists that we do have in the Sheridan area. The arts are very important to Sheridan uh, because we have such a vibrant downtown with the many sculptures that we have down there and um, the many types of, of, of art that we have there. The Celebrate the Arts program, more than anything else, has uh, helped bring that local artists together and made the general community as a whole aware of the impact of the arts 
and how many artists there are here who live here year round and, and, and work and sell their things in the galleries here. To learn more about Celebrate the Arts shared in Wyoming or to find out how you can help support this innovative project, please contact the City of Sheridan Public Arts Committee. I can hear the river green drifting slowly around the bend. An eagle flies beyond the view. Pilot of the wind. Western skies shine up blue reaching down